Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a coral path map. Now this is a map you might have seen on the web or in magazines or online magazines. And it's basically a geographic map. And there are different color gradations. There are different shades of the color that emphasize a data, which can be uh, variability in the data. It's similar to a heat map. You can see here it's similar to a heat map, but it uses geographic boundaries. Heat maps can be uh, squares or tiles or whatnot. But in terms of a choropleth map, it's basically a geographic map that shows kind of some variability of data and it uses shading. And this could be created in Excel 2016 using the 3D map feature. It's also available as the power map download download in Excel 2013. You have to go to uh, Microsoft's site to get it and download it and activate it. So what does it look like in Excel? Well, let's take a look. So here I have a census population for the United States in 2010. And I'll just play this particular uh, map. And what you, you can see here is the Earth rotates and we have our coral path map. You can see that California, Texas, Florida, and um, New York are the largest states. So they have, there's a difference in the shading. It's a darker shade than the rest of the states. So this is actually fairly easy to create in Excel. And let me show you how it's done. So I'm in a new worksheet here and I copied over the data. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a change here to show you something first. Uh, when we are putting this data and using the 3D map feature in Excel, it's actually going to Microsoft's Bing mapping utility to kind of bring back the geographical data. The, it's called geocoding. And that's based on kind of geographical fields that we have. You can, ha you can see that the geographical field that we have here are the states. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take state of Hawaii. I'm just going to call it Hawaii. And I'll show you something that happens. And what you have to just be aware of is if you want to have the maps correctly identify your regions or states or counties or whatever, you probably have to play around with the wording sometimes. The more exact the location, the better, like the zip codes or longitude, latitude. But let me show you in this example of how we can rectify, rectify something. So with this data already here, all I need to do is go under insert and go to 3D maps. And this is going to bring up the utility, the 3D map window. It's going to be a separate window. Let's make this a little bit smaller so it'll fit in here. All right, so then we'll make, well, let me, let's make it a little bit bigger here. All right, so by default, it's going to use, let's close this field list because these fields, you can add them in here. Now, by default, Excel is going to choose this stacked column visualization. What we want to do is use the region visualization. And what it's going to do is it's going to map it out all as 100% one color. And that's because we haven't added a value here. You can see that it's added the states and you'll notice that it's picked out 98%. And the reason why is it failed to pick out, let's see, I think it failed to pick out Hawaii. Yeah, right? Because even though Hawaii, the name in itself, should give you some confidence in knowing that it's a state. Adding state of Hawaii gives it a better result. So let's close this. I'm going to go back into the Excel worksheet and change that to state of Hawaii. Let's see, I think it was down here somewhere. Hawaii, right? So we'll call that state of Hawaii. Go back into the map. and click refresh and let's see if it picks it up now it picked it up you can see now it's 100 percent you can see it's plotted everything so if you ever come across any problems with the it's trying to figure out the confidence of the locations you might want to play around with the wording or add extra fields to indicate that if it's a postal region that's probably better. Longitude, latitude, that's probably the best. So now that we've selected, uh, changed the visualization to region, all we need to do is add the population field. So that's going to give you the different shadings, uh, the gradients for the state. So if I add field, I'm going to add census population. Now you notice it's given me also a legend here. The lightest color is about half a million and the heaviest or darker colors, about 37 minutes. Of course, that's going to be California there. So let's make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to close this tour here. 
and we can see we can move the earth around a little bit or and or we can zoom in and zoom out or we can uh, tilt we can tilt the angle you can see there's a lot of things you can do in this particular 3d map feature sure right if you don't like the globe you wanted to ha have it flat we can click on flat map and it will just flatten it all right and then you can increase the size here and we can also put labels here so you can see actually if I, as I hover over you can see that it tells me uh, which state and the population is so that's kind of nice there now I can also add labels if I click on map labels you can see it's added the state labels here it's probably better that I add move this a little bit over and I'll, I'll eventually close that window so you can see everything but let's move it over here so we get uh, Hawaii and at least part of Alaska there maybe we can make this a little bit smaller too right so if I close this window you can see oh that's that's not that good let's let's move it back over here and maybe we'll move the legend and we'll bring the Hawaii down there we'll move the legend over here and we have our map right we have Alaska we've got Hawaii we've got the continental United States and if we didn't like this blue color there is not that much you can do in terms of changing the color outside of adjusting the theme so there's a couple themes here we can see if you don't like the blue and th that red was a little bit more better I think this what this modern theme was the one that gave us that red or the different shades of red so that is kind of nice there and if we wanted to do that flyover effect that I showed earlier that's basically creating a tour so if I click on tour editor we have our first scene here let's change this back to the default and earlier this was not a flat map so I changed that back to the globe and if I wanted to do some flyover kind of tricks I'll click on the scene options and let's just do a quick a quick effect maybe we'll do a dolly effect and let's make that five seconds let's not make it too long right and we wanted to and close that and our next map it's like creating a PowerPoint slide and our in our next view we wanted to have that red view so I can just take this and make a copy of it go to new scene uh, make a copy and make this one uh, let's make this one flat and also change the theme color alright click close Let's make sure everything kind of shows up nicely. Yep, that looks good. And let's play the tour. Let's see what happens. All right, so the United States is going to move around. You can see the population. Legends show up there on the right. And now it expands. And now we have our, our map. So this is, you probably won't see this fully because I, I'm not showing my whole screen here, but you probably get the gist of it press escape to get out of that and if you didn't want to have this in Excel and you want to show this in on the website or on uh, your PowerPoint slide you can actually create a video right so after you create that tour you've got those two scenes to create that tour you click on create video it's gonna ask you what to what you want to create uh, you can have these three options and what it's gonna do is it's gonna create an mp4 uh, file and you can use that mp4 file to put it on a web page or put it onto your PowerPoint slide right I'm not going to create this here but basically that's what it's doing so that's your way you can create a chloroplast map in Excel using the 3d map feature very nice feature in Excel 2016 if you don't have 2016 it is available on 2013 as the power map feature so I hope this helps thanks for watching